Hi, welcome to another Honest Video. And it's one with a little bit of a difference because we are coming to the end of 2020 and what a year it's been. For many of us, it's been very tough. Um, it's been unsettling to say the least and just strange, the strangest of years. So I wanted to start by saying thank you to those of you who have watched my videos, who've subscribed, who've commented, you know, having this channel to regularly update as often as I can. You know, I work as a journalist, um, I am a mum. It's usually the weekends when I get the chance to, to film some reviews. So I try and do a minimum of two a month um, and I am trying to up that as I go. But at the moment, it's just a small channel. I just hit 5,000 subscribers a few days ago and I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has commented or watched the videos. Um, it really has made a big difference and I really enjoy hearing what you've got to say and your opinions as well. So do keep them coming in 2021. What I wanted to do was just look back over the year and pick out a few of the products I feel have made the biggest difference, those kind of game changers for me in 2020. And so that's what I'm doing today. I've picked out three. Um, and I'm gonna start by saying that although I've talked quite a lot about owl therapy this year, I had that treatment in November, 2019, and the benefits um, have come to full fruition in 2020, but because I had that treatment in 2019, I haven't featured it in this video, but if you're interested in all therapy, certainly um, that was a treatment that I found really beneficial. So have a look back. I'll, I'll include links to the reviews um, in the video description below. At number three is this Bure infrared lamp. So the studies that have been done around um, infrared and its benefits have been varied, as you can imagine, with, with most things in life. There's one study that says one thing and there's another that says something completely different. It is believed to um, stimulate blood circulation and therefore could have a natural sort of healing effect. It's also been found in some instances to be helpful with skin conditions like acne. Um, some believe it has anti-aging properties, whereas others might say it might promote aging um, because you're warming up the skin um, and it might be causing damage underneath the skin. So, you know, it's a real mixed bag and I think it's sort of up to your own individual judgment, basically. But the reason I put this in my top three is that when I started using it, very quickly, I noticed a difference with my eyes. Now, anybody who watches the channel regularly will have seen me droning on about my puffy eyelids. Sagging, puffy eyelids. Puffy, sagging skin. My sagging eyelids. I woke up this morning with really puffy eyes. It really has been a bane. I have dry eyes. Um, I did another video towards the beginning of 2020 about a breakthrough that I had by using heat pads on the eyes. What I discovered was that my oil glands were um, becoming congested and that using heat pads helped lift that congestion. Well, the Bure, just by using it um, for about three minutes on either side of my face, so three minutes at a time, and I'm ha I'm sitting with it a good 40 centimetre distance. I do it side by side, so I'm never directly looking at it because look, you know, as with looking at the sun, looking directly at the lamp is not a good idea, can cause damage to the eyes. Um, so I have that either side of my face for three minutes and um, I found that it's made a massive difference to the puffiness around my eyes and that if I use it every day, I don't have it. I also feel that my skin is clearer and brighter. So it's winter. I enjoy the warmth. Um, I just think it gives me a lift. But um, the improvement around my eyes is really, really noticeable. So that's why I've added this as a bit of a game changer for me in 2020. And that's at number three. At number two of my top products for 2020 is this Philips 
Lumia Advance IPL device. Now, I only just recently reviewed this. Um, I did two. I did one which was on um, just talking you through how to use it. And the second was a follow up after a couple of months to show the results from treatment. Now, IPL is something that I had. I'm going back between 10 and 15 years. I had it in a clinic and I got not a great result from it. I was left with you know, a couple of patches of bare skin, but otherwise not a great result. So that's why I hadn't gone back to it for years and years and years. Um, but I noticed this device on Amazon. It was on offer, reduced from £300 to £200, and I decided to go for it. And it has been a brilliant investment. I've got to say that after five uses, I used it every couple of weeks as recommended. After five uses, I would say I saw the promised 85% reduction in hair growth that Philip suggests you will. And from there on in, the idea is you use it monthly. Now, I still have some light hair growth on my legs and under my arms, but it's significantly different. And to the point, um, I now don't have to use a razor. I just use one of these little electronic shavers every now and then to take off the whatever hairs, patches of hairs that are growing. Um, but very, very different. A much lighter hair growth, hugely reduced. So this has been brilliant um, in my books. And I noticed that offer, it comes and goes. It's on at the moment. At the time of filming, this model is available for £200. It, ha it has the cord. Um, it has two heads, one larger one for the body, one smaller one to use on the face. Um, have a look at the reviews, but I certainly have found this to be really effective. And now for my number one product of choice in 2020. And the very good news here is it's not in the least bit expensive. It's just vitamin D3. But the difference is I've been taking high strength vitamin D3 since about October. Um, and I will tell you why. So in the UK, um, and I'm sure it'll be the same in most countries, we are recommended during the winter months to take a vitamin D supplement daily. The recommended amount in the UK is 10 micrograms a day, which is like 400 IUs, depending on what measurements um, you have on, on, on the packs or what you go by. A couple of months ago, I interviewed a uh, medical physics researcher, a guy called Gareth Davies, and he had been, since March, poring over the statistics around vitamin D because he picked up pretty quickly that he felt there was a correlation between vitamin D deficiency and susceptibility to coronavirus. Now, the reason we are recommended to take vitamin D in the UK is um, purely because we don't get adequate amounts of vitamin D through sunlight in these winter months. Um, so the correlation with vitamin D has been looked at. You've probably seen it over and over again in the press and there are differing views on it. But what we do know is that vitamin D is really useful for um, immunity. It's been linked to um, depression, uh, low levels of vitamin D and um, seasonal affective disorder. Now, a couple of years ago, I did a video on seasonal affective disorder, which is something I have suffered from for years. I've always said I'm allergic to winter. And if you have a look at me in this video, which was filmed at a similar time of year to this, it was midwinter, and you can see the impact. Um, I mean, my face, I'm just, my eyes are all puffy and I'm pale and I'm run down and I felt really low. And that would be the way it would go for me every winter without fail. And I had a little lamp and that helped a little bit and I would take vitamin D, but at the minimum recommended doses, which was the 10 micrograms a day. Now, actually, the maximum recommended dose in the UK is 10 times that. It's 4,000 IUs a day. 
that's what I've been taking recently. I mean, sometimes I will take half and then a couple of times a week, I'll take the full whack of 4,000, but I'm well above um, those sort of minimum recommended doses. The difference is that at your 10 micrograms a day, if you're taking that every day, you're probably going to ensure that you're not deficient after a period of time. But um, what Gareth Davis is talking about is sufficient levels for your body to be sort of firing on all cylinders and your immune system fully functioning and all these benefits that are related to vitamin D that are really just being uncovered. And that's why I'll leave it to the scientists to talk more fully about it. All I can say is that in taking higher dose vitamin D, I have seen the most massive difference in myself this winter. My mood has been better, my energy levels have been better. And, you know, look, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so I'm only touching wood here about health. But certainly, from a seasonal affective perspective, from an energy perspective, I feel really good. My mum is in her later 70s. She's been taking them as well. She feels great. She's had no problems. And normally both of us are literally counting down the days till the nights get a little bit, well, the days get longer and the lights, nights and the, the dark evenings get shorter. Um, and we haven't been bothered about it at all this year. So I've been taking Howard and James, which again, you know, I buy most things from Amazon. So I will share the link to the one I bought. But any, this one is D3 and K2. And K2 um, has benefits for uh, normalizing blood clotting. And we know that D3 um, is really helpful for um, absorbing calcium, keeping our bones strong and for muscle and function and, you know, some benefits linked to the immune system. So this was the one I bought for no particular reason other than it looked good, good quality. I was interested in K2 as well. I've been taking it and because I have had such a good reaction, I'm continuing with this one. However, there are lots of D3 products out there. So, you know, pick one that suits your price range. Also bear in mind that liquid D3 is supposed to be more easily absorbed and therefore if you haven't been taking vitamin D it might be a good idea to take it in liquid form at least to begin with to help get your levels up quickly. So um, yeah this is my absolute overall winner of the year I've got to say big benefits from D3 for me. I want to say a big thank you again to everyone who has watched my videos this year um, who has commented, who has subscribed. It is hugely appreciated. Uh, to those of you who are watching um, my videos for the first time, welcome, thank you. There are loads more like this on this channel. Um, I cover everything from household and beauty products and devices to in-clinic treatments and lots more. There are regular reviews. They're gonna be coming fast and furious in 2021. So do keep watching. And if you are subscribing, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well because um, that'll let you know when a new review is published. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts in 2021. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.